the first ever photos for Disney's live action remake of Beauty and the Beast have just been unlocked from the vault. So prepare to feast your eyes on a real life fairy tale. The official characters have been unveiled, so be our guest and keep watching if you dare, but don't let the beast scare you on your way out. It felt like the announcement made as old as time when we learned that Emma Watson was set to recreate Belle in the Disney live action Beauty and the Beast, but to ease the anticipation in the very slightest, Entertainment Weekly has just released exclusive photos from the set, and it's almost as though we stepped right out of an enchanted Fairy tale. Emma Watson undoubtedly lived up to her character's beauty while shot in the ballroom wearing Belle's iconic yellow gown. And you guys, the burning question no longer remains as to what the beast will look like. Dan Stevens is nearly unrecognizable in the photos, towering over Belle covered head to toe in thick fur, horns, and a classy regal ensemble. The film's costume designer Jacqueline Duran revealed to EW that everything down to the shade of yellow in Belle's gown required intricate work, saying, quote, we tested a lot of yellows. It was just trying to work out the tone. It's still made of silk, but it has a satin finish, so it's less transparent than other organza. There is a cage under some parts of the skirt, but mainly it's layers of organza that just give it a lift for it to have lightness. She also explained that it was important for the dress to have mobility, saying, for Emma, it was important that the dress was light and that it had a lot of movement. In Emma's reinterpretation, Belle is an active princess. She did not want a dress that was corseted or that would impede her in any way. The other eight photos released featured other iconic characters, including Gaston, played by Luke Evans, Josh Gad playing the goofy LaFoe, and even the inanimate but very animate objects Lumiere, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, and Plumet. Emma can also be seen more times throughout the photos as Belle in her casual blue and white dress featured in the beginning of the film and even opened up to EW about having a say in the costume design by putting a modern spin on the animated Belle's wardrobe. She said, quote, My Belle is very practical. In the movie, she wears these little ballet shoes and I knew they had to go. If you're going to ride your horse and tend your garden and fix machinery, then you need to be in proper boots. Well, I can't argue there, but we've got so much more to look forward to come the release of the film next year, like new music, stunning set designs, and a whole lot of music. So while you're eagerly awaiting more sneak peeks, I wanna hear all your thoughts on the first photos while I go over here and just freak out. Were they exactly what you hoped and dreamed they would be? Let me know right down here in the comment section. And after that, click right here to watch us try out some few tasty German candies on cheat day. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your girl Jackie Idenisi, and I'll see you guys next time.